Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's now the morning. I uh, put in the yeast into my CO2 generator right here. And as you can see, it's already reacting. It's already uh, causing uh, CO2 to go up through the tube and into my bubble counter. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there you go. The bubbles are starting to come out. And it's uh, then going through the tube into my tank and those bubbles are right there coming out of my air stone um, some of them are going in my air uh, filter intake which is hopefully getting chopped up and getting uh, redistributed in the tank and what's cool about it is I noticed that the bubbles right there are going up to the surface and they're not popping right away they're actually floating uh, towards my filter and it's uh, you know it's staying in the water longer and obviously the longer the bubbles in the water uh, the uh, greater the chances of it uh, dissolving into your uh, aquarium water as opposed to just popping at the surface so um, we'll see if it's working um, I'm gonna give it a couple days and see if there's any noticeable growth on the plants um, probably actually weeks before I see any improvement because you know the plants I have in here are very uh, uh, slow growing plants you know Nubius, Java fern so um, <clears throat> you know I got my uh, my drop checker here so I'll keep tabs on that don't want uh, too much of a fluctuation on any of the pH or anything like that so um, so far it's working and uh, as I told you at night I'm just gonna you know shut down the one of these valves open up the other ones and that uh, CO2 will no longer go in the tank and it will just relieve some pressure uh, in here and then when it's the daytime we'll reverse the process and the CO2 will go back in the water alright so this is my tank and we'll, we'll see what happens <laughs> 